Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. X cubed minus Y cubed minus X Y is equal to 61. We need to find all possible values of X and Y, where X and Y are integers, both positive and negative. So, let's start. First of all, we move this negative X Y to the right hand side then this equation will become x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 61. This negative x y will become plus x y at right hand side. Now, by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus uh, AB plus B squared. This uh, X cubed minus Y cubed will become X minus Y times X squared plus uh, XY plus Y squared is equal to 61 plus uh, X times Y. Next x minus y times we make a group of this uh, x squared plus this uh, y squared like this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared plus this x y x y is equal to 61 plus uh, x times y we use a small parenthesis here to make this a group. Now, we have two terms in this brackets. This x squared plus y squared is one term and this x y is another term. So, we multiply this x minus y by this term and by this term like this x minus y times this x squared plus uh, y squared. This plus will come here and we multiply this uh, x y by this x minus y. x y times x minus y is equal to 61 plus uh, x times y. Now, we have sum of two terms uh, at left hand side and sum of uh, two terms uh, at the right hand side. So, we compare this term x minus y times x squared plus y squared with this 61 and this x y times x minus y with this x times y. First, we write this x y times x minus y equal to this x y. So, this will become x times y times x minus y is equal to x y. Now, from here we divide both sides of this equation by x times y. At right hand side we divide by x times y. So, this x times y will be cancelled out with this x times y and this x y will be cancelled out with this x y and here we are left with 1. So, this equation will become x minus y is equal to 1. And from this equation, if we move this negative y to the right hand side, then this implies that x is equal to y plus 1. Now, we write this x minus y times x squared plus y squared equal to this 61. Then we get a new equation x minus y times x squared plus y squared is equal to 61. Now, in this equation, we put the value of x minus y 1 from this equation and in place of this x, we write this value of x y plus 1. Then, this equation will become in place of this x minus y, we write this 1. So, 1 times in place of this x, we write this y plus 1. So, it will become 
y plus 1 squared plus this y squared y squared is equal to 61. Now, multiplying by 1 to this expression does not make any change. So, now we find this uh, y plus 1 whole squared. By using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab uh, plus b squared. This uh, y plus 1 whole squared is equal to y squared plus uh, 2 times y plus 1 plus this y squared y squared is equal to 61. Now, this 1 y squared plus uh, this 1 y squared will become 2 y squared plus this 2 y 2 y is equal to 61 61 and we move this plus 1 to the right hand side this will become negative 1. Now, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2. 2 as common factor and in bracket left uh, y squared plus y is equal to 61 minus 1 60. Now, from here we divide uh, both sides of this equation by 2. Now, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and uh, at left hand side we are left with uh, y squared plus y is equal to this uh, 60 divided by 2 is 30. Now, move this 30 to the left hand side then this equation will become y squared plus y minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. So, we solve it by factorization. We write this uh, y squared y squared and we split this uh, plus 1 y as we split this plus 1 y as plus uh, 6 times y minus 5 times y minus this 30. 30 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms uh, we can factor out y. y as common factor and in bracket left uh, y plus 6. And from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 5 and in bracket left uh, y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression y plus 6, uh, this expression y plus 6 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, y plus 6 and in bracket left in bracket left this y and this negative 5 in bracket left y minus 5 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression y plus 6 is equal to 0 or this expression y minus 5 is equal to 0 from this equation y is equal to negative 6 and from this equation y is equal to 5. So, we have found two values of y. y is equal to negative 6 and y is equal to 5. Now, to find the values of x we use the equation we use this equation x is equal to y plus 1 to find the values of x. To find the values of x we use this equation x is equal to y plus 1 and x is equal to y plus 1. First in this equation we put this value of y negative 6 then x will be equal to in place of this y we write this negative 6 negative 6 plus 1 and x will be equal to negative 5. Now, when y is equal to 5 then x will be equal to 5 plus 1 and x will be equal to 6. So, when y is equal to negative 6 then x will be equal to negative 5. 
and when y is equal to 5 then x will be equal to 6. So, from here we get two pairs of solutions x comma y is equal to first pair is negative 5 comma negative 6 and the second pair is 6 comma 5. This is the final answer of this equation.